Hi, I know that many people aren't going to make it into shul this weekend because it's too cold, there's too much snow, or you're coming up with a different excuse. So I want to give you two minutes of Torah on this week's Torah portion, just so you don't go into your weekend without. This week, I've been really inspired by this book, uh, Slim Book, by Aviva Gottlieb Zornberg, uh, a profile of Moshe Rabbeinu, of Moses, which deals with what we read in this week's Torah portion. This week, we read, among other things, about the burning bush. And in the story of the bush, God says to Moses, go to Pharaoh, tell him to let the people go. He'll listen to your voice. Moses says, he's not going to listen to my voice. I have this speech issue. It's not going to happen. God says, I know you can have, Aaron will speak for you if you want. So Moses and Aaron go to Pharaoh. Aaron says, let my people go, etc., etc., and Pharaoh says, no deal, I'm doubling the work, everything is going to get worse. It seems like the whole plan is a failure. And Zornberg, quoting Amik Devar, an earlier commentator, says, the problem here is God said, Moses, Pharaoh will listen to your voice, not someone else's, but yours. And it seems that that which embarrassed Moshe, what made him different, what he found hard to deal with in himself, that specifically is what he had to overcome and be unembarrassed about and bring out. And maybe that's part of the lesson. Maybe it's not, I don't believe in the burning bush because I don't believe that plants talk. Maybe the message here is really one of don't be embarrassed about what makes you different. You have to overcome some of your fears and speak confidently with your own voice. When Moshe speaks confidently with his own voice, he helps himself and he helps his people. We should be blessed with that, to speak confidently and to understand that that is where redemption may come from. Shabbat shalom.